Hi everybody, it's me. It's Tuesday, I believe. Yes, Tuesday. Um, and I just wanted to make this uh, vlog to say thank you to all of you for your great responses to my video I put up of my back porch wedding pictures. That's all there was, was what you see there. <laughs> That's all the pictures there were. And um, I was up at oh, 1 o'clock in the morning with Windows Movie Maker uh, trying to get that done. I couldn't sleep and I've been having trouble sleeping lately at night. I don't know whether any of you have that problem with that restless leg syndrome and the leg pain. Anyway, um, so what? You can take naps, right? Um, anyway, I, so I, I made that last night, and, and the first time I did it, a uh, uh, Windows Movie Maker froze up on me. Then, when I did it again, I realized that you have to set this, the duration for seeing the pictures before you add the pictures to the storyline. <laughs> oh, I hate all this technical stuff. Anyway, it was finally done, and it, it turned out, I think, really well, too. But thank you all so much. I I just can't reply to every comment. There's, there's so many. I'm, I'm just... In, I'm speechless. Almost. Anyway, Raven Singer, you asked me about the music that I used in that little video and I, I forgot to put that at the end in the credits. Probably by then my eyes were just about crossed because <laughs> I was getting tired by by the time I finished it. But uh, the song is called Feathers Flight and it's by Jeff Bjork. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name but the spelling is B-J O-R-C-K and his first name is Jeff um, from the album Impressions Impressions in Black and White there you go I should have put that in in the uh, whatever also I wanted to tell you um, about <laughs> I was thinking about this last night that uh, after that little wedding ceremony we went up to uh, palliative care at one of our hospitals here in in my city and to tell a friend of ours who was on his way from here to heaven you would I guess it's, you could say um, he had cystic fibrosis all his life and um, it, I guess the Lord was calling him home and we went up to tell him that we had finally tied the knot because there was a day when Paul had looked at me and said you guys have been together a long time haven't you Chris and I said yeah he says you've been through a lot yes I said he said what are you waiting for and I couldn't answer him and then when he became very ill and told me that he would be checking out of here <laughs> that's the way he put it I think I'll be checking out of here in a couple of weeks and I remember looking at him and saying you are? And he said yeah but it's okay and I said well then if it's okay it'll have to be okay with all of us so we made it up there in time to tell Paul that we had gotten married whether he understood or not I I want to believe that he did because there was a bit of a smile on his face and after that we decided to take off and go visit my sister Nancy Lee Old in her city which is a two-hour drive for us so we got in the car and we we had thrown a few things in the suitcase and we're on our way down there to uh, celebrate with her and her husband the wizard and uh, 
we got uh, about an hour away from here and I said Rick stop Harvey's has got its two-for-one hot dog deal on right now <laughs> I don't lie this is the truth so we stopped and um, got our two-for-one hot dog deal for our, our wedding supper <laughs> and when we finished I looked at him and I went this has been quite a day and Rick said yeah and um, I said do you feel like that other hour drive to my sister's or do you just want to go home <laughs> he said let's go home <laughs> so we got back in the car and we drove back home <laughs> wow life's really something ain't it <laughs> anyway thanks again <clears throat> excuse me thank you again everyone you're saved by the bell talk to you soon bye